on March 16th, 2023, Nordic Air Chiefs from Denmark, Finland, Norway and Sweden signed the first Nordic Air Commanders in tent. Its key objective to develop their ability to operate seamlessly together as one Air Force. The United Nordic Air Defence Alliance will be formed by pooling the resources of the Nordic countries' air forces, creating a significant sized unified air force tasked with protecting the Nordic region, its borders and airspace against unauthorised airborne incursions, especially from its near neighbour, the Russian Federation. The announcement of the United Nordic Air Force will be another blow to President Putin, who had gambled that the invasion of Ukraine would create disharmony and disagreement with a general reluctance in Europe and around the world to get involved. Any actions against Putin would go no further than the usual rhetoric and long-worded statements, short on substance, short on actions. However, the opposite happened. Many countries around the world joined the chorus of condemnation against the Russian Federation's aggression with words of support for the Ukrainian people and talks quickly turned to sanctions against the regime. We are steadfast in our support to Ukraine, that we are prepared for a long haul and that we will support them for as long as it takes. Putin, literally isolated in the Kremlin towards the end of the Covid pandemic, could only watch his news feeds as the Swedish government just days after Russia's invasion of Ukraine presented a bill proposing that Sweden's parliament, the Riksdag, approve Sweden's ascension to NATO. Finland soon followed the Swedish lead, with both countries on the 18th of May 2022 simultaneously handing in their official letters of application to join NATO. In the meantime, a trickle of donated weapons and munitions to Ukraine from countries such as the USA and the United Kingdom quickly became a flood as many countries pledged more and more weapon systems with increasing sophistication and deadly range. It now makes sense in light of what's happened in Ukraine for the four Nordic neighbours to strengthen their air force interoperability in what will be the very near future an all NATO member group of Nordic countries. Situated on NATO's northern flank, with Finland in particular now becoming a NATO member, 4th of April 2023, has added over 800 miles of NATO's shared border with Russia. The Nordic Air Force will have upwards of 300 fighter jets between them, as well as training, transport and surveillance fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters. Developing a Nordic Air Force concept for joint operations will be based on already known NATO methodology. After all, why reinvent the wheel? It is likely, therefore, in the very near future, the countries will integrate command and control, operational planning and execution systems. To achieve this goal, the four Nordic nations' air forces must have complete interoperability between all aircraft. They have a great start. It just so happens that three of the Nordic nation's air forces are purchasing F-35A Lightning II Joint Strike Fighters. The Nordic nation's air force transport and surveillance aircraft have fewer in numbers to the fighter jets by mostly the Hercules C-130 variants and a mixture of AWACS types. However, the new Nordic air force could participate in NATO's AWAC program which Norway and Denmark have already joined. NATO also operates its own air tanker fleet. Norway is already a member, and the option for all four Nordic nations to join the programme must be worth considering. There is also a fleet of C-17 Globemaster Free Transport aircraft, available to NATO Alliance members. Although not a NATO programme, it is a multinational initiative called Strategic Airlift Capability. The aircraft operates out of the Hungarian Defence Forces Papa Air Base in Western Hungary. Each participating nation owns a share of the available flight hours of the SAC C-17s that can be used for missions to serve the needs of their national defence, including NATO, EU or UN commitments as well as humanitarian relief efforts. Denmark is the only country out of the four Nordic nations that has not joined the SAC programme. Participating in these programmes as a unified Nordic Air Force will likely improve interoperability and streamline costs.
The Royal Norwegian Air Force is the first to transition to F-35A Lightning II, having retired its remaining fleet of F-16A fighter jets in 2022. Norway is now operating 27 F-35A and will operate a total fleet of 52 F-35A by 2025. Interestingly, Norwegian F-35A are currently the only aircraft in service to be fitted with an aerodynamic pod housing a drag chute system. The F-35 drag chute system is a device to slow the motion of the F-35A and provide control and stability for the pilots. The F-35A drag chute uses the force of wind pushing in the opposite direction of the motion of the aircraft to safely land on short, wet and icy runways. The pod itself can be installed and removed with minimal effort. The Danish, Dutch and Belgium Air Forces have taken note of this system and are now in discussions with Lockheed Martin to provide F-35 drag chute pods for the F-35A Lightning II they have ordered. The Royal Danish Air Force currently operates approximately 33 F-16A Fighting Falcons. Denmark has agreed to purchase 27 F-35As to succeed the F-16. Denmark has recently sent pilots to train on the first of six manufactured aircraft for the Danish Air Force. The Danish F-35A are currently kept in the United States. In autumn 2023, Denmark will receive a first F-35A Lightning II on home soil. The Danish pilots will be supported in joint training operations and exercises by five US pilots flying US Air Force F-35 fighter jets. All 27 ordered F-35A will be delivered by 2027. In 2022, following the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the Danish Defence Ministry revealed it would extend the F-16A's service until 2027. The Finnish Air Force currently operates an aging fleet of over 50 F-A-18C Hornet and several F-A-18D Hornet configured for pilot training. In 2022, Finland finalised its $9.4 billion purchase of 64 Lockheed Martin Block 4 F-35s. The Block 4 upgrade is a closely guarded secret. Thoughts are it will improve the F-35's electronic warfare capabilities, enhancing its existing electronic warfare suite. These upgrades will be integrated into the JET's automated logistics information system, back-end cyber support infrastructure. It's also thought the weapon system will be upgraded for the provision of new and future stealth weapons munitions. The Finnish military already have in its arsenal advanced American-made missile systems. The first F-35A Block 4 is expected to be delivered in 2025, with Finnish aerospace industries involved in producing significant portions of the aircraft under license from Lockheed Martin. It is also reported that the Finnish will also produce F-35 portions segments for other Lockheed Martin customers making it the second country in Europe to do so, joining the Italian FACO manufacturer, which is currently heavily involved in producing and assembling its own order of 90 F-35A and F-35B aircraft, under licence with Lockheed Martin, and tasked with supplying 29 F-35As for the Royal Netherlands Air Force. The Finnish Air Force will begin retiring the fleet of F-18 Hornets in controlled stages. With all Hornets retired around the same time the F-35s are fully delivered.
Sweden will be the only air force in the new Nordic Air Force not to select the F-35A Lightning II. In 2014, Sweden ordered 60 Gripen E series fighter aircraft, a considerably improved variant of its past predecessors. Saab will deliver a combination of E-single and F-twin-C aircraft. The first JAS-39 Gripen E are entering service in 2023. The current fleet of 94 aircraft of C-single seat and D twin-C aircraft were scheduled to be retired by 2026. However, in 2022, Sweden announced it had signed an agreement with Saab to extend the operational life of the C and D fleet to beyond 2030. The order value of $340 million will provide the aircraft with a new version of the engine, which will enhance flight performance. A more effective electronic warfare system upgrade will create conditions for increased attack capability with a new payload. The JAS-39 Gripen CD upgrades will ensure reliable and effective defence of Sweden's airspace at a time of increased tension following Russian's invasion of Ukraine. The Swedish Air Force recently announced that the CD variant will remain in operation to help streamline the introduction of the new E-Series from 2023. Clearly, the capability enhancement of the older Gripen fleet is now essential to enable better interoperability between the Gripen CD and the superior Gripen E, for example by the upgrading support systems and data links. In the meantime, the Swedish government has shown interest in six generation aircraft projects, such as the joint British-Italian and Japanese Tempest Future Combat Air System. Sweden was the first country to sign up to the UK-led Tempest project, but remains at the moment a keen observer. An indication perhaps it will bypass procurements or development of fifth generation aircraft. Looking forward instead to the 2040s for sixth generation aircraft technology. By the year 2030, the Nordic Air Force will operate 143 F-35A Lightning II aircraft. It will be the third largest fleet of F-35 in the world. Japan will operate the second largest fleet of 147 F-35A and B. The USA, of course, will operate the largest combined fleet for Molliher services of a staggering 2,469 F-35A, B and C aircraft. Although much work is still to progress, the agreement to create a Nordic Air Force encompassing considerable advanced future combined lethal air power sends a very strong message to Russia, while at the same time greatly enhancing the defensive capabilities of NATO's northern flank. Thanks for watching.